So I recently made a video about diversity in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and several BTT viewers said, Grace, you've got to make a video about diversity in the DC Cinematic Universe, to which I thought, excellent idea. Now, of course, the post-Nolan DC Cinematic Universe is just beginning to take shape, yet already many fans are saying that attention to diversity could be its chance to shine. The Marvel Cinematic Universe might have a more solid foundation, but DC could win over considerable loyalty if they give fans what they want, representation. Sure, on the surface, Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice might as well be called hashtag super white people problems. But with the way the rest of the Justice League is shaping up, we'll move over Fast and Furious as it seems your days of being the most diverse Hollywood franchise are numbered. Right away, we've got the inclusion of Wonder Woman as DC's Trinity is portrayed for the first time on the silver screen. Now, we don't know if she'll be sidelined in the actual film, but so far she was an equal part of DC's PR campaign at San Diego Comic-Con. How cool is it to see her poster revealed side by side with Batman and Superman? Even the recent How It Should Have Ended acknowledged that there would be a new person at the booth at the Super Cafe, a girl. And she'll be portrayed not by some Hollywood blonde starlet with a wig or a dye job, sorry Scarlet, but by Israeli actress Gal Gadot, bringing a global feel to the DC Cinematic Universe as she represents the Middle East. Then, who's been making headlines recently? Aquaman! Why, after Batman v Superman, it's even been confirmed he's getting his own movie. But rather than the blonde, blue-eyed superhero we're used to seeing in the comics, he'll be portrayed by Jason Momoa, a mixed-race kid all grown up into hot damn. Momoa's father is a native Hawaiian, while his mother is German, Irish, and Native American. But while Momoa has made a big impression on the small screen with Stargate Atlantis and Game of Thrones, he's already starred in a movie. And DC better hope it wasn't Momoa audiences had a problem with there. Another DC superhero who will make his big screen debut in Batman v Superman is Cyborg, who will be portrayed by theater actor Ray Fisher. This will be the New Jersey native's very first movie after impressing critics and audiences alike with his portrayal of young Muhammad Ali off-Broadway in Fetch Clay, Make Man. In the New 52, Cyborg has been vital to the creation of the Justice League on the page and in the animated adaptation, with an emotional origin story woven into the overall narrative. So expect him to be similarly important here. And even the bad guys are getting some diversity, as Japanese model-turned-actress Dao Okamoto, who played Mariko in The Wolverine, has been cast as Lex Luthor's personal assistant and bodyguard, Mercy Graves, who was originally introduced in Superman the Animated Series. Now, when the character crossed over into the comics, it was heavily implied that she and Hope, a fellow bodyguard that the comics added, were Amazons who left the mascara for Lex's employ. So we just might see a Gaul Dao throwdown, or heck even better, Dao duke it out with Cavill and or Affleck. As for supporting characters, there's some diversity there as well, with Lawrence Fishburne continuing his role as Perry White for Man of Steel. Lois Lane will also hopefully continue to play a large role, yet with a cast this crowded, is that realistic? And hopefully they won't go the usual love triangle route they have in the past. Not only does Lois deserve a better storyline, but she and Bruce are simply not a match. Now Bruce and Diana? Also, Holly Hunter is a wild card here, officially cast in a mystery role that some say might be Dr. Leslie Tompkins, Batman's surrogate mother. But Hunter is only a little more than a decade older than Affleck. A more believable and exciting choice would be for Hunter to play Gadot's mother, Queen of the Amazons. So as you can see, there's quite a bit of diversity in the DC Cinematic Universe already. But with the exception of Wonder Woman and Cyborg, these other characters have been reimagined by Zack Snyder and company. Do you think these new versions of Aquaman, Mercy, and Perry White honor the original characters while invigorating them? Or would you prefer to see Jon Stewart and Vixen? And who's doing a better job with diversity, Marvel or DC? Write your thoughts down below. I'm Grace Randolph, and this has been a Movie Bite. You can watch more right now.